Robert De Niro is one of the greatest actors of all time, with seven Oscar nominations and two wins among his massive list of achievements. You know him as a godfather, a taxi driver, and a good fella, but what you don't know are the parts he almost played. Here are 25. You talking to me? In the early 70s, before he broke out, De Niro actually auditioned for Sonny Corleone in The Godfather. All right, you prove it to me. You can do it. Go ahead, prove it. De Niro lost the role to James Caan, who later also beat him out for The Gambler and Funny Lady, but was brought in for The Godfather 2, which earned the actor his first Academy Award. I think everything. De Niro then went on an incredible run that included Taxi Driver, The Deer Hunter, and Raging Bull that was nearly capped with The Shining. He, Harrison Ford, and Robin Williams were all considered for the role, though Jack Nicholson was always director Stanley Kubrick's favorite. Here's Johnny! Speaking of a role hard to imagine any other actor playing, De Niro was actually originally cast as the lead in Big. However, the studio was reluctant to pay his fee, and Tom Hanks tapped in. That same year, De Niro also turned down The Last Temptation of Christ. The actor had a long history with director Martin Scorsese dating back to Mean Streets and reportedly said he would play Jesus if the director's back was against the wall. Fortunately, Willem Dafoe stepped in instead. I want to bring salvation! Around that time, De Niro was also offered the role of Harry in Home Alone. He turned it down, as did John Lovitz, leading to Joe Pesci making it his own. De Niro was attached to star as Jerry Lee Lewis in Great Balls of Fire with Scorsese directing, but when the director departed, so did De Niro and in came Dennis Quaid. You see this hand? It makes $5,000 a night. You see this one? It does too. De Niro and Scorsese have made many more movies together, including Goodfellas, Cape Fear, and Casino, but there were a few not meant to be. The actor passed on Gangs of New York, which went to Daniel Day-Lewis, and both Nicholson's and Martin Sheen's roles in The Departed, which De Niro skipped in order to direct and star in The Good Shepherd. You understand that whatever we discuss here doesn't make this room. Other famous roles that De Niro was considered for or passed on include Danny Aiello's in Do the Right Thing, Anthony Hopkins in The Silence of the Lambs, John Malkovich's in In the Line of Fire, Dennis Hopper's in Speed, James Kahn's in Misery, John Travolta's in Get Shorty, Chaz Palminteri's in The Usual Suspects, Kevin Spacey's in A Bug's Life, Al Pacino's in Any Given Sunday, Alfred Molina's in Spider-Man 2, Denzel Washington's in Man on Fire, Jamie Foxx's in Collateral, Johnny Depp's in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Jack Black's in King Kong, for which director Peter Jackson also wanted George Clooney. You know that, I know that, we all know that, and all I do is act on that. De Niro co-starred in the smash hit Joker, and next stars in Netflix's The Irishman, directed by, you guessed it, Martin Scorsese. Because in Hollywood, there are three ways to do it. The right way, the wrong way, and the way that I do it. <laughs> 